Next is uh, Ulmus parvifolia. I believe this is number 31 on your list, the lace bark elm. So many of you may be familiar with uh, American elm, has very large leaves, multiple, you know, uh, four or five inches long, uh, several inches wide. Well, Ulmus parvifolia has a much different um, uh, texture. So when we talk about a finer texture tree, this is, this is an example. So things tend to have a coarser texture with large leaves, finer texture with small leaves, such as we see here in Ulmus parvifolia. It does share the fact that uh, it has an oblique base, although it's a little bit harder to see. That means that uh, there's a little bit more leaf blade on one side of the petiole versus the other. It does have these serrate uh, margins, again on a very small leaf. Very short internodes, which also adds to the finer texture here. It is, uh, again, mid-September. We're starting to see some uh, flowers come out on this guy. Okay? So in addition to its uh, rounded shape, its finer texture, and it's just uh, overall durability. Another reason to grow Ulmus parvifolia is this uh, really distinctive uh, lacy exfoliating bark that you see. It comes in a myriad of uh, different colors from uh, browns, tans, cinnamons to olives. Very nice character uh, of this plant. One thing I will say about Ulmus parvifolia is it is definitely weedy in uh, different parts of the country. It produces tons and tons of seed and they blow around these Samaras. They are uh, wind dispersed and they, they can cover quite a large area and uh, seed in in the garden. But great tree, very tough tree. Uh, this happens to be Ulmus parvifolia allay, which is an introduction from uh, Dr. Durr. Uh, and it is a very good cultivar, a very durable street tree in the landscape. Ulmus parvifolia.